so today is Monday. It is the start of a new working week. And um, I got a bunch of orders this morning because of the keychain launch. I've sold quite a few of them and I'm really excited. It's probably been the most successful first day of a launch that I've done on the shop, which is really exciting. Um, I was hoping that they would do well because I put a lot of work into them and I think that they're really cute and pop I think they'll be popular. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and do all those now. I have one order that's from a friend that requested I record it for TikTok, so I'm gonna do that as well. I have one more custom order to finish up, so I'm gonna finish that up. And um, yeah, so I'll just take you through um, packing up some of these orders and then uh, we'll see how far we get. I have more Christmas stuff to get done. Um, I'm nearing the end of it, so hopefully um, before this video goes up, the Christmas collection will be live. So um, I'm hoping to launch by the end of the week. So we're gonna work, continue to work away at that. So you'll probably see all the Christmas footage in this video, um, in this vlog at least. So I'm pretty excited about that. I also launched the Thanksgiving card. Um, I recommend if you're ordering any of these things for a holiday, so for Thanksgiving or anything for Christmas, to order it in advance because um, we don't know what's gonna happen with COVID. So um, I would hate for posts to get clogged up again right before Christmas hits and people not get their orders in time because unfortunately I have no control over how fast orders get to people through Canada Post. Um, and then the keychains are a really great idea for stocking stuffer or just a small little something to add on to a gift for someone. It's a little personalized something to give to someone. Um, so if you're planning on buying those for Christmas, I definitely recommend getting your orders in sooner rather than later. And if they do really well, then I'm gonna definitely be restocking a bunch more before Christmas so that lots of people can order all the different colors because right now I have 24 colors and I only have one of each color. Um, I just wanted to see how they would sell. I didn't wanna buy a ton of stock and them not sell. So they've been selling well so far. So I have a feeling that I will end up having to order more. Um, so then I can offer more than just one quantity per color. But yeah, uh, so I am just going to take you through doing these few orders. So I've just set out all the keychains that people have ordered and I took off the um, protective uh, film that's on them. And I've just put the black vinyl onto my um, Cricut mat and then I've put all the names that people want to customize into a Cricut so then I'm just going to cut them out and then I'll do a little time lapse of me weeding them and putting them onto the keychains. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to update you guys on, I did a bit of reorganizing and my um, art cart from Michaels, um, you can buy them a lot of different places. I know that um, like Walmart probably has them. I know Ikea does for sure. They do probably the cheapest one, but I got this one from Michaels and it's like a light lavender purple color. You will have seen it in previous vlogs and in my um, studio tour video, but I decided to reorganize it. So this is all 100% packaging materials now. So it's nice and easy for me to cart it anywhere um, in the house so that I can work on packaging orders um, in places other than my desk just to give myself um, kind of fresh air <laughs> so I'm not in the same workspace all the time 
So I'll just take you guys through it starting on the bottom here. So I have all of the chipboard because I put a piece of chipboard in every single envelope to make sure that nothing, um, especially stickers, don't get bent because I've only been using the rigid mailers for art prints and cards. Um, and then I have the bubble wrap that I've been using to wrap up all the keychains. Okay, so on the second shelf here, I have the envelopes that I put orders in. I have um, envelopes for cards. I have cello for cards. I have a larger size of envelope, all of my business cards, the cello for the stickers, um, and all my cello is compostable. I have said that a few times, but I like to reiterate that I try to be as eco-friendly as possible with my packaging. I have my uh, mail scale, my stamp and stamp uh, or ink pad. Um, this is the thank stamp that gets put on every um, order envelope. And then I have just my thank you cards here that I'm not using currently because I'm using my Halloween, um, my Halloween thank you cards. And then up to the top shelf here, I have the tissue paper. I'm using orange right now because it's fall and Halloween. I'll use it right through until the end of October. And then we're going to switch into the Christmas packaging. And then in this container here, I have all of my packaging stickers and stamps for Canada in the United States. I have my um, regular confetti, which I'm not using currently because I am using this pumpkin, these pumpkin, uh, little pumpkin confetti that I make with my Cricut. And this is the freebie sticker right now. So I'll switch out all of these things um, as the seasons come. So they'll switch out for Christmas, like I said, at the end of October. And then once Christmas is over, then I'm gonna switch back to my normal uh, packaging. And then I have the fall thank you cards. I have the stapler for sticker packaging. I have my packing tape that I use to seal all of the envelopes when I mail them out. And then I have this really adorable pencil case from Michaels. And in it, I just have um, all the pens that I use. Um, I use the jelly rolls to write on the thank you um, cards. I have my bone folder for folding creasing cards my measuring tape for measuring the orders. Um, I have washi tape, and then I use these um, Stedler permanent Lumo color markers to write on the envelopes, um, write mailing addresses. So yeah, that's just a little look at how I've reorganized this cart to just be packing stuff, because all my packaging stuff was kind of spread out among different shelves and everything. So I thought it'd be easier to have it just on one cart so I can just pull this uh, wherever I need to um, when I'm packing orders. Uh, I worked on custom orders and um, orders, uh, packaging orders, sorry, yesterday. And I am packaging more orders today because I've gotten more orders, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you everyone so much for the support. Um, I also, I spent the morning at going to Michael's, which is in a different city from where I live. So I had to travel there. So I'll show you guys um, what I picked up there. So I got this little writing guide for dressing envelopes so that it, I can make my envelopes look really nice and neat. Um, I also got this little guy here, which is a little clip with tape on it, a little dispenser. So it's nice and easy for me to package orders. I just added that to the top of my cart here. Um, I'm currently cutting out more pumpkin confetti for the rest of the orders that I have to package up. And then the other thing that I decided to do was order um, these acrylic uh, pieces, but I got circles and I got them larger so I can do ornaments um, for Christmas. So I decided to pick up the Cricut Premium Vinyl in glitter. So it's a white and silver glitter vinyl. And then I got this um, Christmas twine to put on the top of them. So you'll be able to customize um, an acrylic Christmas ornament on the shop for Christmas time. So that's kind of the plan uh, with that. And we'll just be inserting more footage of me designing Christmas stuff. I'm hoping to get it done by tomorrow. And then the other thing that I have to do today is um, record a tea time video that's going to be going up. It will have already been up. It would have been the video that goes up right before this studio vlog. So yeah, I will take you through the rest of the day.
I just wanted to show you guys I had to rejig the office for Christmas. So I cleared off um, the desk here and I shifted my printer setup over and then I extended my cart. This was down before and this was shoved all the way over. Um, I extended it up so that in behind or rather underneath it, I could fit all of my rigid mailers and the new boxes because I didn't know where else to put them. Um, so that's that. And then I just have my shipping cart just kind of pushed off to the side there so that when I pull it out here, when I'm packaging orders, it's easier for me to get to everything in the studio. Wednesday so you would have seen me work on cards yesterday and today you'll see me work just on stickers so um, I didn't record the process of these but I will record the winter sticker pack um, me designing that but um, the cards I'm doing something a little bit different I'm gonna do a set of these five circle stickers that all have different Christmas sayings. So this one says season's greetings. I have uh, Merry Christmas, Tis the season, warmest wishes, and happy holidays. And these are all the, uh, all the text and writing lettering that I did for each of the five Christmas cards I'm designing. So um, I decided to do little circle stickers to sell in packs so that people could put them to seal the envelopes that they send their cards in and then they match. And I wanted to do this because no one wants to really lick envelopes right now because of COVID. So I thought it would be a nice idea to offer a pack of stickers people can buy to go along with the cards that they purchase from the shop if they want. So I'm only doing these in my matte and glossy finishes so that we can keep the cost really low on them compared to my other stickers. And I've done them obviously in black and white just to keep them really, really simple and um, that keeps the cost significantly low as well um, since I'm not using any colored ink to print these. And then I'm also, for the packaging, I'm putting them in my compostable cello and I'm just putting a mini Jolly Pop sticker at the top instead of doing a sticker topper, again, to keep the cost really low on these stickers, as low as I can. Um, so that they can accompany the cards and be just a small added um, bonus if you want to add one of these into your cart to go with a pack of cards that you buy. So I've been struggling all morning because I sat down to um, decide on Uline what I was going to order to ship the cards in because I'm doing the cards in packs of five which I can do through letter mail no problem but the packs of 10 and 15 are much bulkier and heavier and they will not ship via letter mail. I have to ship them in small boxes. So I'm ordering the small boxes on Uline. Um, I'm gonna do that today. But I was on the Canada Post website putting in to do the shipping calculator to see how much it was gonna be. And I'm just like, I don't know if any other Canadian Etsy shops or small businesses have run into this issue, but it is so, I've been so frustrated all morning and I wanted to share this with you guys in case anybody else out there has a small business or Etsy shop in Canada and deals with the same issue or if you have any advice for me. So I put in all the information um, and did it so that it would ship from where I am in Canada to the other side of Canada to see how much it would cost to ship within Canada. but further away within Canada. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and it was gonna cost me $18. Now I could bring that price down a little bit if I um, made an account on Canada Post and registered as a small business on there. Um, so I could save a percentage on shipping, but it was still like $17, I think. I think it saved like a dollar, which is helpful, but $17 to ship some cards is a lot of money and I don't wanna be charging that much. Okay, so then I was getting a little nervous about US and international shipping, um, considering the Canada shipping was so much. So I went, re-put all the info in, exact same info, exact same weight, 
um, size of the box and everything. And then I decided to check within my own province. And it was only $15 within the province, but that's still incredibly expensive for it to only be shipped like a couple cities over from where I am. So still frustrated, a little bit nervous. So then I put in all the information and I decided to ship um, within the states. I checked a couple different states kind of spread out from where I am in Canada, um, from furthest away to closer and then the other side um, of like the other coast. So I checked all three and they are all the same and they're all only $12 or $11 with the discount for the small business. Somebody please explain this to me because I do not understand why it is way significantly more expensive for me to ship um, a package within my own country than it is to ship to another country. I really, I don't understand it. It is very frustrating because I, I like to charge free shipping within Canada um, for my Canadian shoppers to support um, as an incentive to support local support within Canada um, and letter mail is fine. It's cheaper within Canada than it is to ship anywhere else. So I have no issue charging free shipping, but I'm going to have to charge some shipping costs with these boxes because they are going to cost a lot more for me to ship than letter mail them to buy stamps. So I... And then same with international, I looked up for international is exact same as the US prices. It was $12 or the $11 with a discount. So I was okay. I, I'm perfectly fine with the $12, $11 mark. That's kind of what I was expecting. And then I was just going to adjust prices um, of the cards to account for some of the shipping costs and then also charge a bit of shipping so that I have my bases covered and then it doesn't look like shipping. A little trick for Etsy sellers is that if you try and add some of the cost of the shipping within the cost of the product and don't put a huge shipping tag on there. So instead of charging $12 for shipping, I'll put some of the money into the cost of the product. I'll only charge like, let's say $5 for shipping and then I'll eat the $2 or whatever else um, from the profit that I make. That's pretty much what I do for most of my products. Um, with shipping and mind you, the shipping on all my other products, it's only like a dollar, a little bit more than a dollar to ship each one. So um, for Canada at least. Uh, so I just add that dollar into the cost of the product and then I take that into account when I'm calculating the shipping rates for stamps for the States and for international. I can do a whole video on shipping um, costs and stuff as far as letter mail. If um, other Canadian small businesses would like a video like that, let me know down below. Um, cause I know it is different in every country. I know the States is very different from, um, us here in Canada, but long story short, it costs more for me to ship a parcel within Canada than it does for me to ship a parcel outside of Canada. And I was trying to look more into this and I think part of it has to do with the fact that Canada Post does start to finish like processing and delivery um, once it's shipped within Canada, whereas it, they only start the process and then hand it off to another company like USPS um, to do the rest of the delivery um, within the other country or within the States. So the cost is less because they're not doing the full delivery. I still think it's ridiculous. I still think that it shouldn't be that much. Um, again, if anyone can help clarify this in the comments, that would be helpful, but yeah. So I've, I sat down for like a solid hour or two to try and jig prices around so that they made sense, so that they covered my basis for costs of material, my time on the cost of packing materials and shipping and I've decided to do $5 shipping across the board whether you live in Canada, the States, international, no matter what, you're paying $5 for shipping and I've tried to account for the rest of the shipping through the cost of the item and then um, there's like a couple of dollars on the US and international shipping that I'm just going to have to take out a profit and then Canada is going to be a little bit of extra out of my profit sucks but it is what it is and I want to
provide my products at a, at a reasonable price for people and I don't want ship, I, I hate, I don't wanna charge a lot for shipping. I don't wanna overcharge for shipping. So um, that's kind of what we're sitting at. Uh, so yeah, if you order the five pack, um, the shipping will be free, like I said, because I can send that through letter mail. It's the 10 and the 15 packs, and then if anyone orders items on top of that too, like that can all be put in the box. So yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, sorry for the longish rant, but I did want to kind of start to do more chatty studio vlogs. So yeah. Okay, so that's that. Um, moving on. I am, I noticed I was scrolling through some older products because they've been selling a lot more. Um, on my shop so and like some of the product photos are a little out of date for the packaging that I have now on some of my older stickers and everything I still have them when I had like the full sticker back and then put the stickers in rather than the sticker tops that I'm doing now so I've been looking at them and I've I really love the sticker tops on mine but they do use staples so I don't know if I'm gonna switch to doing the full backs again, but doing them in the smaller size and not the five by sevens, we'll see. But I'm going to sit down and take a relook at um, packaging. And then I went to Michael's yesterday, as you would have seen in, the, uh, seen in the vlog, I had showed a couple of things that I bought. And I decided to pick up some more um, paper for product photos. So I'm going to make it more cohesive and I'm going to do a redo of every single product photo on the shop. Um, I'm gonna really focus on making it really high quality. I like, I, I've tried, I tried to do that the first time around and I've learned a lot about editing and lighting and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to redo all of the product photos and there's a beta version for product videos on Etsy. So I think I'm going to try and do some product videos because I don't see a lot of other shops use it and I want to see if maybe it could help boost sales. Um, anyway, so I got a like whitewashed wood as kind of like the natural base because I think when the light hits that and I have products on top of it, a lot of my products have lots of colors in them. I think that that'll be really neutral base because sometimes I've gone for like really patterned papers and I'm not sure if it like brings out the best in the product. And then I also, of course, got the Jolly Pop blue color so that I can kind of do some like maybe overlays with the products on just to add a, a pop of color um, where I think I need it. And then I went with this pastel purple that I thought complemented the blue just so they're not all the same. I want all the product photos to look different, but I want them to look more cohesive. Um, and then I got a kind of like green, uh, like plaid pattern. And then I got this like green kind of washed polka dot. So I went with green, purple, and blue kind of for the colors and then that neutral. And then I'll have props and everything as I do in most of my, um, product photos. So I'm going to do a redo of all those. I'll probably like record the process as I go through it. Um, but yes. Hello, I have a dog here to visit me. Come here, Kelly. You say hello? <laughs> um, yes, so I'm gonna redo all the product photos. If I don't get to it this week because of Christmas stuff, then definitely next week um, you guys will see um, a change in all of the product photos. And yeah, so that's pretty much that. Uh, thank you for listening to this very long-winded rant, but um, let's get back to the work day. Hello everybody and happy Thursday. Today is Thursday. I am currently having my lunch. It's like a shawarma pizza. It's really good. Um, but the post just came and I got all of my boxes that I ordered from Yulon, which I literally ordered them yesterday. So I am shocked at how fast they came. So I'm going to show those to you guys right now. Okay. So this ginormous box from Uline arrived and they sent like a full catalog with the box of like all of their products. They sell a lot of different stuff. And if you live in Canada, particularly in Ontario, this is where I go for a lot of my, um, packing and shipping supplies. It's really inexpensive to buy in bulk and they have a variety of different products um, and the shipping is incredibly fast. So 
I ordered 50 of these boxes. They're white on the outside so I can customize them. Um, I wanna put a stamp or like a sticker or something on the inside of the boxes when you open them. Cause again, I want, I always want my packaging to be kind of a magical experience to open. And I put one together, so I'll show that to you guys too. Okay, so here's the one that I put together. They're fairly small. I wanted to keep them as small as I could while still being able to fit everything. So this is going to perfectly fit the 10 packs, the 15 packs, um, plus if you order more stuff in addition, it'll still fit all of those cards and more products in them if need be, depending on how much you're ordering um, from my shop for Christmas time. So yeah, I'm gonna um, probably tomorrow, either today or tomorrow, work on um, a sample of how I wanna package everything in these so that I can kind of figure out um, if I need to buy anything else to customize it for Christmas. Um, I already have my red tissue paper and my thank you cards done as well as my freebie sticker and my confetti. So it's more of just figuring out what I want to put um, on the actual um, inside here because I want to do something special there and then on the outside as well. Okay, I'm going to call the studio vlog there today because tomorrow I'm going to be um, just taking the product photos and getting all the listings set up for the Christmas collection, which is gonna take a lot of time. And then I have D&D &D tomorrow night. So I'm not gonna be able to get any other work done that's worth recording. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this studio vlog and seeing all the Christmas stuff. The next video you'll see on either Thursday or Friday will be my Christmas collection reveal. So I'm gonna go through all the products I'm gonna have for, Chris for the Christmas collection. Um, and then go through all the packaging that I did for them just for other small businesses who are thinking of launching similar products. Um, and just to give you guys kind of a lowdown on the Christmas collection since it is going to be a large one. So yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye.